What's up y'all, welcome back to another video. My name is Miles with Holiday World out of Dallas, Texas. And today we are taking a look at this 2022 Keystone Bullet 221 RBS. This here is going to be a trailer that is really suited for two different types of people that I primarily see in my head. One will be the person that is looking for a starter camper that's easy to tow, not too big, still has a slide out that gives them the room that they're looking for and is going to have some of those more quality premium features to it, but isn't like outrageously expensive in that 40 to $50,000, $60,000 price range. So this here is gonna be great for that, or it's gonna be for that couple or family or individual that is looking to downsize into something. They're currently in a big unit. Maybe they wanna switch vehicles to something smaller, or they just want something smaller to tow. This here is going to accomplish that too. Stays under 28 feet in total length. It's only about a 22 foot trailer length on this RV here. So a lot of great aspects to it. Really premium, good quality with this bullet as well. So let's dive into it and take a look. All right, y'all, real quick before we get started, I have a really special announcement today that I'm super excited about and I'm going to try not to take too long, but I am very excited. And that is that I'm starting my own clothing and apparel company called Firmly Unbound. This is something I've been thinking about for well over a year, and I wanna to talk to you today about what this brand means and then how you can get involved. So this is something that me and my fiance are gonna be doing together. I've been thinking about it for well over a year now, but coming up with what the brand was going to be and having a high enough level of belief and conviction behind it is what I was waiting to find. And it took a long time to come up with this name. But when I came up with the name Firmly Unbound, I literally jumped out of my seat and probably wasn't able to sit still for about the next four hours. I was so excited. And I'm still that level of excited. So it's hard for me to even talk about without stuttering or speaking too fast because I just believe in this so strongly and I'm gonna tell you why. First of all, if you look up the definition for the word unbound, it just means not confined. And then if you look up the definition of confined, it means limited to a particular location or being held captive. And I feel like me, myself, and you as our veers, that's who we are. We are unbound people. We are not limited to a particular location and held captive to the way that the world lives their lives. And that, I mean, just that realization alone made me jump out of my seat. I was like, oh my gosh, that is me and that is you. And I feel like that's something that so many of us feel and believe about ourselves in our lives, that we are one, unbound people, but we are firmly unbound, that we are gonna go live our lives the way that we wanna live it. I know I hear RVers all the time that talk about wanting to live in an RV full time, but they're getting pushed back from either their friends or family or society or the internet or whatever it may be. And eventually you just come to the realization of like, no, I'm gonna go live my life the way I wanna live it. I'm gonna go do the things that I wanna do with my life. And you become an unbound person. And you have to take a firm stance to do that sometimes. But then it gets even deeper. I also feel like in society today and in the world, there are a lot of people that are fed up with things that are going on in the world. I know I feel that way almost every day. And then I realized the abbreviation for Firmly Unbound is FU. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is the name. This is definitely the name. My fiance was like, uh, you realize the abbreviation for this is FU, right? And I literally jumped out of my seat again. I was like, that's perfect because I feel that way so many times throughout the day right now as we just go and live our life. I am fed up with things I see going on and sometimes I just wanna say some bad words that have the abbreviation and the letters F and U and that's just how I feel and that's just being completely honest and I know there's a lot of other people out there that feel that way and that is something that also I feel like symbolizes what a firmly unbound person in today's world feels like. And then finally, there is a spiritual meaning behind it as well. I am a believer in Jesus Christ, and I believe when you give your life to Jesus Christ, you become an unbound person from the world of sin. You become unbound from that sin, and you become firmly unbound when you give your life to Jesus Christ. So those are the meanings behind it. Then I wanna talk about how you can get involved. Um, we do have all our social media profiles up and active, so we are at Firmly Unbound on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and Facebook, and we'll probably have a YouTube page here in just a second as well. So you can go follow us there. And the reason why you'll wanna do this is because we are gonna be giving out special discount codes, special offers, and special giveaways that, were only, that will only be accessible when you go follow us on those pages. That is the only place where those discount codes will be posted. So if you wanna get early access to discount codes for when we do launch, because it will be sometime in 2022 and we're gonna to try to make it sooner than later, You'll want to be on there to make sure you get special access to those first initial launches. So I wanted to talk about all that, let you know what's coming up in the future. Everything you see on the screen as far as our branding and imaging is all 
being modified right now. Um, my fiance is a super creative and detailed person in that area, so I'm very excited to be working with her and she is working on getting official logos and designs for what the imagery will be behind this brand, but we are being very detail oriented and making sure that it represents everything that I just explained. So very excited about that. Just wanted to talk about it. Go get involved. Links to all of the social media accounts for Firmly Unbound will be in the description below so you can find them there and go follow us and start becoming a part of this journey. We're really excited. We're going to make good quality clothing that I think a lot of y'all are really going to like. And I know it's not something we're not going to make anything that I myself or my fiance wouldn't wear. So if you see it on there, just know that we're putting something together that is something that we will be wearing all the time and it is going to be good quality and it is going to stand behind the meaning of what this brand is 100%. So I wanted to talk about all that. That's all I got, but we'll be talking a lot about this in the coming videos up in the future and stuff like that, keeping you up to date. So that's everything. Let's go look at this trailer now. So I'm very excited to walk through these bullet travel trailers with you. As we walk through this one that we're looking at today, we are going to be doing this in kind of a series where we're looking at a bunch of the different bullet travel trailers that there are that they offer and give you a quick rundown on what the bullet brand is real quick because i really like this brand first of all they have a great name great look on the outside as well and a great look inside but they have three different tiers of products that they offer so they have the bullet crossfire which is going to be their first tier then you have the ultralight bullet which will be just their standard bullet that they have here and then you also have your bullet Premier, which we have down here all the way at the end that'll be more of a luxury style travel trailer as well. So I like the Bullet brand so much because they have something to offer for every level of camper out there. And I think it is just a great brand for no matter what you're looking for, you can typically find something within the Bullet lineup that will fit what you need for what kind of camping you wanna do. So real quick, before we get into looking at the trailer we're gonna look at today, let's talk about some of the differences between these three tiers. So the Bullet Crossfire is going to be the most entry level of the three. It is going to be the smallest of the three as well. The Bullet Crossfires have eight different floor plans that range anywhere from 35 to 5,500 pounds. They're gonna be at a height of about 10 foot four to 10 foot 10, which is gonna make them the shortest out of the three lineups that we have. It's gonna have a flat line ceiling. It's going to have um, you know, a little bit smaller frame. It doesn't have side skirts. Um, like around your wheels and stuff like that things in this area like what you'll have in the Regular ultralight bullet that you see here. So some differences like that that you'll have So this is like their most stripped down bullet model um, great for an entry-level camper that just needs something to get out and camp in comfortably But it's still going to offer a lot of features and comfort that you're looking for out of a travel trailer Then you go up to the ultralight bullet or just the standard bullet here and with this one in this bullet model, you're going to have approximately 10 different floor plans. Um, those are gonna be, they have Eastern and Western floor plans. Here in Texas, we just get the Eastern ones, but if you include the West Coast floor plans, there's about 24 different floor plans that bullet makes. And these are gonna range anywhere from 4,500 to 7,300 pounds. And these are gonna be 10 foot eight to 10 foot 11 in height. These are gonna have a barrel ceiling. You get a larger refrigerator in these than you do in the Crossfire. You're gonna to start to get the Thomas Payne upgraded designer furniture. They're gonna come equipped with a TV that the Crossfires will not have. And then you get a legless dinette table as well, which the Crossfires will not have. And then finally, as we walk up here, you're gonna have the Premier, which the Premier is gonna be the most luxury of the three. The Premier is gonna come with 11 different floor plans. They're gonna range anywhere from 4,600 to 7,800 pounds. And these are gonna be the tallest of the three. So they are going to be 11 feet to 11 foot four on the total height. And then they're gonna have a larger TV than the standard bullet, what the standard bullet comes with. They're gonna have a 15,000 BTU AC standard, um, regardless of whether that's ordered or not, it'll come standard with the 15,000 BTU AC. You're gonna start to get solid surface countertops in the Premier that you don't have in either of the other two. You're gonna have um, larger outdoor entertainment spaces. You're gonna have a fireplace and stuff like that in here that does not come standard. Plus it has a different front cap. You can see like on a standard bullet here, you have the diamond, you know, or yeah, it's kind of like a diamond plating up here up front for that skirt. And then on the bullet premiere, it's actually like this painted on sort of 
um, textured material here that's going to be kind of your rock guard up front there. So differences in that regard too, as far as the design. But that's kind of the rundown on the different Bullet products and what they have. Um, they come in various different sizes. You can see, even though this is a Premier here and it's very luxury, it's still a small travel trailer. So they have different sizes in all of these to fit every camper's needs. So I love that about the Bullet brand. But that's the quick rundown on everything with Bullet. Now let's get into looking at the trailer that we're looking at today. So as we work around the outside, this is going to be in Bullet's middle tier category. And then you'll see the specs on the screen here. I'm gonna actually go look inside the door and get the exact length on this unit so inside the door here you have a weight a dry weight of 5060 pounds and a length of 26 feet 10 inches so that is going to be bumper to bumper on this bullet and again this is in the middle tier for the bullet lineup so you get the uh, fiberglass automotive front cap up here <coughs> excuse me and then it's going to be a full fiberglass sided trailer you get the side skirting on here that looks really nice as well. Um, the upgraded wheels that you don't have on the Bullet Crossfire, things like that. One thing I really like about Bullet, they have giant storage compartments. These have the widest storage compartments of any travel trailer on our lot. So really big underneath here. You also have the pegboard here so you can organize things if you wanna hang things there. And then I wanna point out with all the framing, as we've been talking about with the Keystone products, you have welds on both sides of every frame connection, which is very important because a lot of brands actually don't do that. That's a shortcut they take where they only weld on one side of the frame and you don't get that with any Keystone products. I also wanna point out here, you have access into your bedside there through the pass-through storage as well. So you'll have that, your docking light switch is gonna be right up here. So this is for your LED lights on the front and then you have a light here as well. We're not hooked up to a battery so it won't turn on quite yet. And then you have the lock here as well. So that'll hold this in place so it doesn't move. You just flip this up and that will allow this to drop. So that'll be your pass-through storage compartment. You have the awning out front that is gonna cover about uh, about two thirds of the side of your trailer here with your outdoor speakers and you do have outside TV hookups as well So you can mount a TV out here and you have your hookups for everything that you need for the TV You're gonna have the upgraded wheels from what the crossfire has so, um, We have a crossfire right next to us. Actually, we can just look on this side So if you look on the crossfire, you can see you have the like really basic wheels on there and then you get an upgraded, more premium wheel on the mid-tier bullet line. Coming around to the back, you're gonna have the window here that is above your storage area, and then you have the barreled ceiling on here as well. So you can see the roof line is barreled. So you will have the barreled ceiling, and then you have your backup camera prep. So it is prepped for a backup camera on there as well. Now, one thing that's been unfortunate is this is prepped for a ladder, which you can get put on there. The reason it came from the factory without a ladder is because there is a significant shortage. So we are getting a lot of units in that do not have ladders on them, but we are able to get the ladders hopefully and get them put on when you need them. Um, they just at the factory, at the manufacturing plants are unable to get enough in stock to put them on every unit. So this one does not have the backup or the ladder on the back, but it is a fully walkable roof and you can get a ladder put on there. So that is something to keep in mind. As we come around this side, you have your big slide out on this wall and you're going to have the cable driven slides on this one. So with the cable driven slides, you're getting push and pull from all four corners of the slide box. So it is pulling and pushing that out evenly. That is the advantage to the cable driven slides. And there is always a manual override, which is on the inside of the trailer there. And it comes with a tool that you can use to get that in and out manually with if you didn't have power for some reason. Underneath here, this is where your black and gray tanks are going to dump. It is this one individual spot under here. So this is the only place where you dump out of this trailer is going to be right back here. You have electric stabilizers as well. So your front and rear stabilizers will be electric. And then as we look underneath here, you can see it is a fully enclosed underbelly. So everything is enclosed and you also have the expandable foam to block off a lot of these areas that are you know, would be open and exposed if you didn't so that little critters don't get up in there 
and it'll be fully enclosed under there with your water lines and water tanks sitting a, above the insulation that is also in that area underneath there. And while we're under here talking about the dump station and water tanks, I wanna point out that Keystone has all custom design frames for each floor plan. So that means they can specifically place the water tanks where they need them to be for proper weight distribution over the axles. And then on top of that, they use one piece rotocast water tanks or holding tanks that are flexible. And they also have rubberized fittings that are fit into the mold as well. So there are no like attached pieces or anything like that. And everything is flexible. Whereas a lot of other holding tanks might be like two pieces where the tanks are, you know, assembled in two pieces together and glued together. This one piece rotocast holding tank is going to give it the flexibility to move if it's, you know, starting to fill up or sloshing as it goes down the road. And then also has, you know, that mobility and the connections and everything to make sure that you don't have any tanks bust or, you know, break open or anything like that. So that's something that's pretty unique that Keystone does with their holding tanks as well. And then while we're back here too, looking at the roof, I do want to point out that there is like a five inch cavity in the roof as well that all of your ducting and wiring runs through as well as all your insulation. So it's a fully insulated roof as well. And then you can see on the screen what that cavity kind of looks like there with the roof. So your water tanks, water lines are all sitting in the same cavity that is fed heat from the furnace ducting so that if you did have that furnace running, they will be getting that radiant heat and that is all sitting above the insulation. Now, if you look up on the roof, you'll see there is a 200 watt solar panel that is installed from the factory. So all Keystone trailers are coming standard with 200 watts of solar. In addition to having the solar panel, you also have your solar charge controller here. So this is the Victron Energy solar charge controller. This here comes with the app that's gonna give you some really valuable information such as the amount of power being drawn from your solar panel, the um, life left on your battery, stuff like that, how much battery power you have left, um, giving you some information like that from the app there that you can access, which is pretty cool. And it is inverter prepped underneath here. So if you wanted to add an inverter and expand upon the solar, you can actually start getting power to some of the outlets in the RV, but you will have to add the inverter and uh, another solar panel up on the roof. So that's something you can do there as well. All of your water connections are right here next to this and you do have the area where it can go down underneath here so your hoses can come up through the bottom and you can keep this door closed. Plus you have the external shower connection as well so you can't have hot and cold water out here. And here is where the extend and retract are at for both your front and your rear stabilizer jacks. And you have a light here as well so if you're doing everything you know in darker environments you can still see everything underneath here but every water hookup and connection you need is down underneath here and you do have the black tank flush valve in here as well to flush out your black tank so you don't have to pour water down the toilet to accomplish that all right let you look at these specs real quick while we're here And then finally coming around back to the front cap, really good looking front cap on the bullet. I love their design on the outside. And then you have your battery hookup up here. So your batteries will be installed here when you purchase from us or battery, I should say, if you wanna get more, you can purchase additional batteries. And then you'll have your um, power box here. This is basically gonna be like your battery disconnect. So you can switch that off and it's gonna kill all power running to the battery in the RV. You would want to do this for like if you're leaving your campsite and you don't want the battery to run you can just come here and turn the power off instead of going through and turning off each individual thing inside the rv here you have power running to um, power pre-wired for solar sorry if you want to plug in a solar panel you can plug in a solar panel here and get additional solar power running to the battery and then you're going to have room up here for two 20 pound propane bottles and a power tongue jack as well so all of that will be powered. So the last thing we have to talk about real quick is the frame on this trailer. All of the bullet line trailers come with this bow next gen frame from Norco Industries. This is made with all American made steel. And the most important thing to know about this frame, it is made with an automotive style production process where a lot of like the, let's see, what are the words that I'm looking for? A lot of the stamping that they do to get the shape of the frame and all of the wells on the frame are all machine done. So you take out human air. And then they also use huck bolts throughout a lot of this framing as well. So where there aren't 
welds and there's huck bolt connections those have a 6,000 pound clamp force which is stronger than welds and so these are going to be specific to the eastern model bullet trailers that you'll get you know all throughout texas where i'm at and pretty much anywhere except the west coast they come with these custom frames here from norco industries that are really good really lightweight and like I said, they're made with an automotive style where it's a lot of machine made stuff so that you're elim eliminating the human air in the process of the making of the frame. So that's pretty much everything on the outside. I do wanna point out real quick as well that we are a priority RV network dealer. So this is something that we talk about quite a bit. I don't know where the priority RV network dealer sticker is on here. It looks like someone forgot to put a sticker on there. I should have noticed that before I mentioned it. But basically, if you look at this map on the screen, we are a part of this network of dealers where this is going to be completely service related. So I know I've had some people mention this here from previous videos saying like, oh, you have a location here. Can you find me an RV at this dealership? This is not for sales. This is not all of Holiday World locations. This, these are all different dealerships that are a part of this priority RV dealer network. And it's a vast array of different dealerships that are a part of this network. Holiday World is just one of the many dealerships that are part of this network. So this is not sales related. This is going to be more service related, where if you are in the middle of a trip and you have any sort of emergency while you are on that trip, something like an AC going out, having a major water leak, refrigerators not working, any sort of thing that could happen that could prevent you from you know, completing your trip and using your RV the way that it's intended to be used, any one of these 130 different dealerships across the United States that are a part of this network will get you in the front of the line for service and do everything in their power to get get you back on your trip as quickly as possible. So that is something that you cannot buy into. You only become a member in this network with this access to these dealerships for that feature when you buy from one of these dealerships that is a part of this network. So that is what that is. Hopefully that clears that up a little bit, but that is just going to be if you are on a trip and you have any sort of emergency that you need looked at right away, these are dealerships that we can get you into across the country when you're outside of Texas or New Mexico where our Holiday World locations are to get you in somewhere and get you taken care of right away so that your trips aren't ruined and you don't have to come back home. So that is our Priority RV Network and just one of the big things that we offer here at Holiday World that's no cost, it's just part of being one of our customers. So that's everything on the outside. Um, actually, let's talk about the steps real quick. You do have the Lippert solid steps right here. So these are gonna be a nice solid step. Don't shake your trailer as you're walking in and out. And then they have the big oversized first step, plus a really low to the ground bottom step as well. So let's go take a look inside. As we head inside, I have the slide out pushed in right now. So you can see the amount of floor space that you'll have with the slide out in. First of all, I wanna point out right when you walk in, you have storage right here. These will be deep storage compartments that you have. So you have access to that immediately when you walk in. You're gonna have your bathroom here. And then with your slide pushed in, you're gonna have access to all of your kitchen appliances right here. You're gonna have this nice floor space to walk through. You can even sit down at the dinette table as well and you have access to your refrigerator. So the only thing you would have to climb over something to get to is the bed portion, which is going to be back here. But with your slide out pushed in, you can get to pretty much everything that you would need quick and easily. You'll have all this space in here. You can get to all your kitchen stuff and your refrigerator and your bathroom, which is here in the corner. But I'm gonna get the slide pushed out and then we'll finish walking through the rest of the inside of this. Now we have the slide pushed out and I do wanna point out your LED light strip out here is in a position where whether your awning is in or out, you will be able to see that light. So even if you have your awning pushed in, you will still be able to see that light and use that as a light source at your campsite. So now with the slide out comp completely pushed out, you can see all the floor space that you have in here. Lots of room, you get the big 10 cubic foot refrigerator. This is a 12 volt refrigerator. So this is running, whoops, it's locked right here. This is running completely off of the battery which is why the solar panel now is so helpful because it will help make sure that that battery stays maintained and does not die on you. So 10 cubic foot refrigerator, the nice thing about that as well is you don't have the propane coils in there that like the traditional RV refrigerators have. So you have a lot more room. And then as you look around here, you can see the barreled ceiling gives you a great ceiling height. The ceiling height in here is like six, seven or six, eight probably. Um, so real tall ceiling height, I'm 6'2", I might even be 6'3", with the shoes I have on, currently wearing, you know, these shoes that have a bit of a platform on them, and 
I'm not even close to the ceiling height anywhere in this trailer. So definitely a lot of ceiling height in here. Lots of countertop space with this area. And then what a lot of people I've seen do is get like a bar stool or two to sit on this side if they want. You have the TV hookup right here that will come out and swivel around so you can see it from anywhere in the RV. But I love that you can see it while you're in the kitchen. That is a nice setup about this floor plan as well. And then just a really good looking kitchen space. Lots of room all throughout here. It really does feel like a nice big open space. You have a light there, just wanna make sure I don't miss any other lights. You also have these that'll turn on as well. Those will turn, and when you have each burner on, they turn red. So just a nice kitchen space and a good amount of storage all throughout. We'll look at all the storage here in just a second, and then you'll have more storage over here as well. So actually, you know what? Let's open everything up and take a look at all the storage that's in here. All right, we got pretty much all the storage opened up here. So you can see up above your kitchen area in these cabinets, this is all unobstructed all the way through. And then you even have a little cavity here as well. And then underneath your kitchen area, under your sink, you're gonna have all of this open space, the shelving space here, that's all unobstructed all the way through as well. And then here, you have an opening here into this area. And then you also have the four drawers right here that will pull out. So you have a little bit of space there. This does go all the way through to that door on the other side, where over here, you're going to have access to storage underneath that area and up here as well. So a couple more shelves there. And then next to your bedside on both sides, you're gonna have these two drawers that pull out. So you'll have that on this side as well. And you have your wardrobe closet space there. Plus this here goes all the way through as well and is completely unobstructed. So you have all that storage space. I also wanna point out next to your bedside, you have this nice shelving here with a hole to plug in electronics into your USB port or into your outlets. And both sides will have that double shelf system, which I also find to be very practical and makes a whole lot of sense for an RV. And then finally, underneath your U-shaped dinette, you have storage that goes back through there as well, all the way to the back of the sidewall. And same thing on this side as well goes all the way back to the side wall so you have doors there to get to that also so let me close all the storage up and then we'll keep taking a look around i can't remember i think i forgot to point out this area but you have this big unobstructed storage space too with a clothing rod so you could use that for more wardrobe storage as well and then you have this big countertop area that you can use for whatever you see fit but you do have outlets and usb ports here as well so you can put kitchen appliances here or whatever you see fit for what you want right here so that's pretty much everything all your controls are going to be right here so your slide out your awning your water heater your water pump your lights and then all your tank levels and then we'll come around here we'll talk about the price real quick this one here you can see all the options that are on it. A lot of people ask like, what's the interior camping package and the exterior camping package. These are gonna be things that come on every single bullet. So it's not, those aren't like anything unique. Every single bullet is gonna come with those camping packages on there. And then you have things like the solar panel, the 15,000 BTU AC, and the total for the MSRP on this unit here is 44,683. So sales price on this is going to be probably well below $40,000. Um, you just have to contact me at the number up here above. Um, I am a salesperson and would love to help you out in finding your next RV. And if you like this RV in particular, I would love to help get you in this and get you a great deal on it. So you can contact me up at the number above and I can get you our official Holiday World sales price and get you a good deal on this RV here. So also in addition to that, I want to point out too, because I'm not in the campground right now, we do have a campground on our facility here. We have eight hookups with full water and electrical hookups on in each spot. So if you do buy an RV from us and you say, let's say you're out of state, since we only have dealerships in Texas and New Mexico, if you want to come work with me specifically and you're in another area or another state, you can come down here and make a trip out of it. We can set you up in your new RV in our campground and you can stay a day or two fully hooked up to power and water so you can test everything out and make sure everything works properly before you leave and head home. And that is something that our local customers can do as well. So I wanna point that out also. Um, up here, you're going to have, this is just a skylight that opens up. So this will open up there, give you a vent for some air. And then you have in your ducting system, you have the 15,000 BTU AC, 
But I do want to point out as well some things about the ducting system. First of all, you have the blade AC vents. So we talked quite a bit about these, how these push air out in a 360 degree motion to make sure that you're getting good coverage of the air. This is something that Keystone has in just about all their trailers now. And it's something that only Keystone has from as far as I understand. And basically, Keystone has found that this is cooling RVs down up to 20% quicker because it is evenly dispersing air around your entire trailer. And it almost like pushes it out more towards the sides and it cools your RV from the top down. So you're taking that hot air that's all sitting at the top and you're cooling it all from the top down, which is cooling it down quicker than a directional vent that just shoots cold air down to the bottom of your RV and doesn't really ever work on the source of where the warm air is at. So that is cooling RVs down a whole lot quicker. Then if you're up under the hood of this with their ducting, they do a couple different things. Like they have their tuck, their tough lock joiners where on your ducting, a lot of manufacturers just tape each piece of ducting around like you can see up here on the screen. And Keystone, they use what are called these tough lock joiners that are between each piece of ducting to make sure that they always remain true and fit to one another and then help eliminate air loss. So there's a lot that Keystone does on that front to make sure that you have a good AC system. And then they've also done things to make sure that the seals and everything around your AC where all the connections are, are proper and snug so you're not having any air loss because climate control, especially here in Texas, is so important. And Keystone does a lot of things in their ducting system and with their vents to make sure that you just get the best efficiency out of your AC system. So you can trust you're getting a good solid airflow when you're in a Keystone trailer with your AC system and everything that they've done to innovate over the past year or two in that regard. Now coming over here, you have the U-shaped dinette, obviously offers you a great amount of seating. What I really like about it though, is if you do need to sleep people, you just set this tabletop on these black posts right here around the edge, you lift these up and it can fit right in there. You fill it in with your back cushions here and there. And then this is going to give you nearly a eight foot long bed almost. I mean, someone like me, again, I can lay on this fully and have plenty of room and we'll give you a lot of space. It's maybe not quite eight feet. It's probably closer to seven feet. It's hard to say exactly, but um, let's see. Let me just get in here and see. We go kick my feet up over the table real quick. Uh, okay, let's see here. If I have to lay down flat, Okay, sorry, I misspoke. See, this is why I need to do this. It's gonna be about a six foot long bed. So six foot to six foot two, you'll be able to fit in here just fine. My head is kind of sitting on the back of the headrest there, but you take out those back cushions and it's probably gonna be about six feet for the length of the sleeping space that you have. Oh, get out of this booth. I'm laid down too far, almost got stuck. Almost wasn't gonna make it back up. Someone was gonna find me in here asleep. Okay, all right, so in your kitchen area, three burner cooktop, this is the Furion cooktop that you have here, this glass bar gives you the additional countertop space, and then you're gonna have the standard size oven right here. A lot of your heat, or actually all of your heat is running through um, your cabinetry, that's why I like this area here, I'm sure a lot of people will say, oh, what's behind there? That's gonna be vents for where your furnace area is at, and you can see you have the ducting for your heat coming out of the cabinetry. And as we move along here, let's talk about the windows real quick and then we'll go to outlets. But with your windows, you're gonna have the pull down black pleated shades, a real soft feel to them as well. So you'll have the pleated shades and then you have USB ports here and on the other side as well. So USB ports on both sides for charging your devices. And then in the kitchen area, let's see. You have an outlet up top here, an outlet here. This is the pop-up outlet. So this actually can go down. You push that red button there and it goes down, sits flush, and then pops back up for two outlets and two USB ports. And no outlet on that side, just the furnace vent. And then on this side, no outlet either. So you have a total of four vents in the kitchen area, or not vents, sorry, outlets. <laughs> and then no outlet up in here either, but all your um, sound and media controls are all gonna be in this Furion sound system here. So you can control all your speaker zones and all your sound. You could plug in an HDMI device going to the TV in there as well if you want to. And that's all wired to the TV. Then you have your bed area. This is going to be a residential queen size bed. You can lift it up. You do have storage underneath here that is separated. And you can see you have a heat vent coming out right there as well. 
On this bedside, one of the storage compartments I did not show you except for when we were outside is this access into the pass-through storage there. So you will have that access with a nice finished out lid there. And that's pretty much everything in the bed area that we haven't looked at yet. And then finally, coming back to the bathroom. Oh, one more thing I just thought I want to point out. Your speaker system. It is like a surround sound system. So you have a speaker there and a speaker right behind that light there. So you will have a surround sound style speaker system. Then coming into the bathroom, it is going to be tucked back in the corner here. Let me get the light on. There we go. So you have a corner shower. You're going to have your sink and medicine cabinet to the right. And then your porcelain Dometic toilet here. So nice porcelain solid toilet. I like pointing out as well if you did have ever like any issues or anything with the toilet seat lid. Let's say you were just wiggling around too much and that thing snapped for some reason. You can just get any um, residential toilet seat lid from Lowe's or Home Depot and replace it with that and put that on there because it is that um, residential style toilet. So have a porcelain toilet there real nice and then the corner shower let's open this up real quick has that there to hold it closed while you're in transit and it'll be a corner shower in here it's also magnetic latch so when you push these together they will latch just like that to also help keep it closed while you're in the shower and then underneath the sink you have all this open storage compartment area and have this area as well what i was talking about with the outlets whenever you see this yellow sticker for an in inverted outlet these are all outlets that are pre-wired to where the inverter would be if you did install one where you can start getting inverted solar power going to the outlets and what i want to point out with solar because sometimes this is a misconception as well really this is just taking that power from the battery and converting it so that it can run to the outlets. So really the solar panels, what they're doing is keeping your batteries charged, which allows them to replenish so that they can send power to the outlets and maintain that power supply without the battery dying. So that's really what's happening. It's really taking the power from the battery and inverting it so that it can get to the outlets. But any of the outlets in here that have that yellow sticker on there, which there's a few of them, can't remember which ones they all are um, not the ones by the bed it's just a couple but the ones that are inverted in here you'll be able to do that with the solar if you want to be able to do that so like these ones in the kitchen are not you know the more i look at this it's really like the bathroom one is the only one interesting may just be the only the bathroom one may be the only, ugh, may be the only one but that surprises me i would think that there would be more most of them most trailers have more when we get up into the bigger models but maybe that's just in this particular bullet but anyways that's pretty much everything i think that's just about it and yeah i don't think i missed anything if there is something i missed let me know down below in the comments all right y'all hopefully you got something out of that video if there is anything that i missed let me know down below in the comments and let's talk there add that value there in the comment section for people to see and then don't forget about Firmly Unbound and how that is going to be launching this year. Links are in the description for all of the social media platforms for Firmly Unbound. If you missed that part of the video, go back because that is going to be the clothing and apparel company that I'm going to be launching and you'll want to see that message about that. But links will be in the description below to start getting connected with Firmly Unbound and that brand that we are starting. Y'all are definitely going to love what we put together with that. So we're really excited. If you are interested in this RV, contact me up at the number above. I would love to help you out and get you a great deal on this RV or any RV that you're looking at for that matter. And that's pretty much all I got for y'all. Until next time, I'll see y'all at camp.